The most common question that I've been getting by far, probably this past month or two, has been some form of, help, my old profiles aren't working, Akira, what do I do? And I finally have an answer for you today. If you're new here, hello, my name is Danny, the 3D Printing DM. Welcome to 3D Printing Tabletop, a channel where we cover all things 3D printing for your tabletop games. Here is the nitty gritty. If you try loading a custom Cura profile, you download it online from a Facebook group or Reddit, my website, a YouTube channel, or just really anywhere, and you tried importing it into Cura 4.2, you're gonna get this error. And if you try and just manually export the settings from that profile into Cura 4.2 or above, you might notice that the results still aren't good. And you're wondering why. First of all, yes, this is a confirmed thing. Yes, there's a way to fix it. And yes, you still can use your old custom profiles and we're gonna get to that in just a little bit. If you aren't noticing any issues, that's because you're using a version of Cura that is before Cura 4.2, which means you probably haven't upgraded either intentionally or just because you just haven't done it. So just right off the bat, yes, the solution for most folks has been I'm just gonna keep using an older version of Cura and that's fine. You're just gonna miss out on so many of the good updates and features that have been coming out in the newer versions and that are gonna keep coming out as Cura continues to be developed. Before we jump into how to fix this, I really think it's important to talk about why. Why this happened in the first place, because that's gonna help you understand why the fix works. I've seen a lot of misinformation online talking about Cura 4.2, a lot of guesses and things like that. So I talked to Jamie Van Kessel, and Jamie is one of the developers of Cura. So I trust him in regards to what happened behind the scenes and some of the things that I'm gonna share with you later on in this video. If you've seen my video talking about the sci-fi profile, you probably saw Jamie's comment on there kind of educating the community on why this profile was so unorthodox and maybe some other ways, if you wanted to try more traditional profiles, things that you could do to get the same effect, which is how I met Jamie. So I just wanna thank Jamie for, for being open and transparent. That's why I'm able to share this info with you today. Now, there's some things I wanna highlight about Cura to, to help add some context, especially for the folks who are newer, who might not have been printing for so long and might not remember what the 3D printing space was like two, three, four, five years ago. Cura is an open source slicer. It's been around for several years now and it was developed by Ultimaker and it's still being developed by them. And Ultimaker is a manufacturer of 3D printers, kind of like Creality or Anycubic. And several years ago when Cura was just starting out, the 3D printing landscape was very different, even in terms of slicers. This is why you might have seen people like Angus from Maker's Muse and Joel, 3D printing nerd, recommending Simplify 3D as a really good slicer when nowadays Cura does a lot of what Simplify 3D does without that $150 price tag that comes along with Simplify 3D or other slicers. And here's what happened with these recent updates. Before Cura 4.2, the Creality profiles were pretty much just the defaults for the Ultimaker original. And I really didn't know where these came from. Uh, when I first started printing on my CR10, I thought that these were just like the recommended settings. I didn't get what I just explained. And that's on me for not doing as much research, right? But I just kind of wanted to get into it and start printing. Looking back though, this explains why those standard settings weren't as good for me when I first started out. They didn't get the same results that I expected them to get. And that's because they were just profiles from a user, Michael Wildermuth, and they weren't really necessarily tested at all. They were just what worked for him and what he shared with the Ultimaker team, and they uploaded and stayed in there ever since. Now, all of this changed with the Creosome mod. Now, if you haven't heard of this mod, this was an open source project that had really good documentation, was completely free, and it aimed to improve the cure experience for people printing on Creality printers. Now, I know that last statement might trigger some folks who've had negative experiences with the Creosa mod, but bear with me here. For the sake of transparency, I never used it, but I knew plenty of people that did, that did try it, and I was very active in lots of the Facebook groups, and people either loved it or hated it. That's just kind of the type of product it was. Whether you use the Creosa mod or not, I had never seen any profile that had this level of documentation and that did its best to add so much to Cura to the point where it literally changed Cura that impacted the potential user experience for someone using Creality printers. All of the above, I think, are part of the reasons why this mod just blew up and really had the community talking when it came out. 
Now what the Cura team did was integrate the Curiosum mod into Cura 4.2 and on. And this was possible because the Curiosum mod was on GitHub, it was readily available, and it was well documented like I mentioned earlier. Adding the Curiosum mod to Cura affected all of those settings in the Creality Printer profiles that were in Cura and all of those underlying settings within it and it changed, again, what was under the hood. So the baseline settings for Cura for Creality profiles now changed. And it wasn't just in the regular profiles, it was for any of the profiles that might have existed before. Which in other words meant that a lot of those older profiles no longer worked anymore with it because there was things that were in the old version of Cura that were no longer in the new one. And there was things that were in the new one that might have been missing in the old one. And Cura just didn't know what to do with these things. It was like they were speaking different languages when you tried to import an old profile. That is why you get the error. Now this also made it so that if you transfer those settings one by one, like I mentioned earlier, there's gonna be some things missing there and it's not gonna translate exactly because some of those new profile defaults are very different than the original Cura profile defaults. And that is why the transferred profiles really weren't working the same and why a lot of people then thought that Cura is broken now and that you could only use the older versions when there was just a lot happening under the hood that was different. Which meant that if you wanted to kind of recreate the profiles and start from scratch, then you were gonna have to literally start a new profile from the new Cura defaults, even if your hardware was exactly the same. And that's frustrating for a lot of reasons. And I, I get that. And I get why people felt the way they did. Now put yourself in the shoes of the Cura dev team for a moment. You see videos and comments like this from large reputable channels. Those cubes all look pretty reasonable as do the all-in-one mini printer test. We can see we have some minor stringing, but apart from that, all of the features for all three printers have been formed quite nicely. No major defects. You see an open source project that could be integrated into your open source project which supports one of the most popular lines of printers, which by the way, is your competitor. Creality is a competitor for Ultimaker, the people who are making Cura. It's not like we could reasonably expect them to be troubleshooting and testing these profiles for these competitors printers, but definitely they might be willing to integrate a well-tested, well-documented mod that has already been put out by somebody in the community who does use these, right? And then you add in the fact that you get relatively little feedback for the amount of users that you have using these printers and kind of feel like everybody's keeping those secrets to themselves without showing all of their testing. And you can see why this happened and why they included the Krausen mod into this version of Cura and on. But looking at it from that perspective, again, I get it. I can imagine it's really tough when you have that large of a user base and it's an open source project. People might not care as much because they didn't pay for the product and they think they might be owed something, <laughs> which is an attitude I've seen a lot with Kira. And I don't get it because it's an open source project and Ultimaker's dedicating resources. So bottom line is I get why this upset a lot of folks and it is what it is. So there you go. That's what happened with Kira 4.2 and on. And now we know why it happened. Let's talk about how you can fix it. So you're gonna have to make a custom profile that has all of those old settings and you're gonna have to manually import all of them yourself by adding them in and then making your own custom profile. That's how you would do it. Fortunately, a community member of the Dragonlock 3D printing community, his name is Jeff. He has already pre-made a custom support profile for Creality printers in Cura that you can just kind of drag and drop and just be ready to import all your profiles at that point. So let's go step by step and I'll show you exactly how to do that. You're gonna go to the Dropbox link in the description below and you're gonna download the zip file and unzip it. Now first, you wanna make sure you have closed Cura completely just to make sure you don't accidentally look at old settings and think that it's not working. Now you're gonna go to the source folder wherever your Cura is installed and you're gonna copy those files into whatever version of Cura you're currently using above Cura 4.2. So I'm using 4.3 here. Once again, you don't need to use this for older versions of Cura if you want to keep using an older version. This won't apply, okay? If you're using Windows 10, you'll see what I see on screen and you'll see a prompt asking to replace a file. Skip that, and if it asks for administrator permission, go ahead and say yes. Now you're gonna start up Cura, and you're gonna select Add Printer. Then select Add a Non-Networked Printer. And if you scroll down, you should see Creality 3D Legacy. 
and you're gonna select the printer you wanna add. In this case, I'm gonna put Ender 3. And now when you select the printers here on the left, you'll see Creality Legacy, and that is the printer that's gonna allow your old custom profiles. Then you just follow the normal steps to import a profile. You can either press Control plus J at the same time, or on the right side of the screen, you can select Profile, and then Manage Profiles, and then click Import. And then you're gonna import the profile you wanna upload, and then you'll see it available in your profiles at that point. This should import the profile in most cases, but you may get a different error at this point. Could not find a quality type super for the current configuration. And at this point, you're gonna have to take a few more steps to make that profile compatible with the newer versions of Cura. Here's what you have to do. Find the .cura profile file and rename it, and add a .zip at the end. It's gonna say the file might become unusable. Go ahead and select yes anyways. Now unzip your file or expand it, depending on what you're running. There should be two files within there. You're gonna rename them to Creality Legacy Base Extruder Zero. And notice the little underscores. You need to have those in there. It needs to be exactly the way it is on screen. And you also need to rename the other one Creality Legacy Base. Now that first part, again, needs to be consistent and the same with both of them. Otherwise, you're gonna get the super error again. Now you're gonna copy these two files and you're gonna paste them into your zipped folder. There should be four files, the two old ones and the two renamed ones. You're gonna delete the two old ones in that original zip. You're gonna leave those two new ones now. And now you're gonna delete that old folder that you had just created. You're gonna be left with that original zip file that you downloaded. And then you're gonna rename it again and you're gonna remove the .zip at the end next time so that that ending extension should now be .cura profile again. It's gonna give you the same unusable warning. Go ahead and select yes again. And now when you go to import, And that should get you back on track, enjoying your old profiles again, side by side with all of Cure's updated goodness if you do wanna use the Krasim mod. Not too difficult, right? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and like what I do here on this channel, you can support me on Patreon. And if Patreon isn't your thing, but you want some really nice models to print, you can also consider picking up a late pledge for both of our Kickstarters down below. Thank you for watching, happy printing, and happy gaming.